than 1,400 athletes are set to compete in the Special Olympics Wisconsin Summer Games this weekend. Yeah, for the first time, the games are being held at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. NBC 15's Tyler Peters spoke with a Special Olympics Wisconsin official on why the organization chose UW Whitewater to host this year's games. Tyler. Yeah, Mark Maria, the organization tells me this year's Summer Games took a full year of planning and preparation. Looking for a place to allow athletes to compete at the highest level, UW Whitewater came across is an appealing location. This is the first time we're involved in the Summer Games and we're thrilled to be a part of it. Thursday's opening ceremony kicked off the 51st Special Olympics Wisconsin Summer Games and it's the first time UW-Whitewater is hosting it. Morgan Anderson, the director of camps and conferences for UW-Whitewater, says the university worked closely with Special Olympics Wisconsin to create a welcoming environment for athletes. Serving um, individuals with all abilities as a priority mission for UW-Whitewater. We're excited because our spaces meet their needs. Because of the university's commitment to serving athletes with all abilities, President and CEO of Special Olympics Wisconsin, Chad Hirschner, says holding the games at UW-Whitewater was a natural fit. We went through and looked at facilities all across the state, and knowing UW-Whitewater's commitment to people of all abilities really aligned great with our mission uh, and the work that we do at Special Olympics. Hirschner says the commitment to serving athletes goes beyond what's seen on the field. So we have a whole healthy athletes initiative. So while the athletes are here, they can get free hearing tests. We have our partnership with Delta Dental. Athletes participating ranging from ages four to 94. The games will feature competition in track and field, cornhole, powerlifting, soccer, and tennis, spanning over the course of Friday and Saturday. When you talk to the athletes that are involved in Special Olympics, it is part of who they are. It is part of a sense of community. It's a place where they feel that they can belong. Now, Hirschner says they're still looking for volunteers for the weekend. If interested, head over to specialolympicswisconsin.org. In studio, Tyler Peters, NBC 15 News.